Hello everyone, this is Jeff with OBD Advisor. I'm gonna go over a few functions today of the Anova 5610 scan tool. i show you just a few things that are available with it and some of the function keys. I have this scan tool hooked up to a 97 Ford, so we do not have many options on the car that the scan tool will perform, but I can at least show you what is available. All right, the first thing that is on this first screen that comes in or comes on shows us we have an OBD check for OBD2 Global. Uh, there are available the anti-lock brakes, supplemental restraint, TPMS on this vehicle, uh, Ford OEM Enhanced. Uh, it does a little bit with this vehicle, uh, but would do much more with a newer vehicle. All right, you can do an all module scan or you can select the module that you would like to scan. All right, so this is your system menu. Now, if we go to the main menu, other options we have are active test. There are special functions. All right, this vehicle is not supported. There are very few modules on this car. If I had a newer one here today, I could show you uh, some of the functions that are available. All right, reset services. Here are some of them that are available. They're not on this car, but the tool does show you what can be reset. Your oil light, if it can be reset with the scan tool, it will reset it. If not, it will give you information on how to do it. Battery reset, steering angle, um, electronic parking brake, diesel particulate filters, and then an ABS bleed mode. All right, then we're gonna push our back button. All right, we can go into service checks, which is not gonna pull anything up on this car. Battery and alternator. Excuse me, I'm not exactly showing you the buttons that I'm pushing, but for select, the uh, arrow button. All right, we can do a battery test or alternator test. These take uh, approximately 30 seconds to a minute each to do. And we're checking uh, battery voltage uh, with the engine running. We check the alternator, or excuse me, with the headlights on for a draw. And then we check the alternator with the engine running. And the alternator test basically gives you a voltage reading. All right, and then you got your drive cycles. Uh, it does tell you where the DTC is located, and I am simply pushing the arrow key uh, down to scroll these. Uh, vehicle information, it'll tell you what type of vehicle you're working on. If it's a automatic ID when you plug the car in, then uh, you may need the VIN number or something to come back to when it would be on the scan tool. All right, tool library. This is a pretty nice function in my opinion uh, to select this. We're going to go here. Um, I like the DTC library. Most of your codes, when they pull up on the screen, they're going to tell you what they are. But if you get a generic code, you can look it up here on the scan tool. OBD1 is available. You do have to buy a new cord uh, with the connector end on it for OBD1. That is available, but it does not come with the scan tool. All right. We're going to select OBD library, OBD2 library. This is a Ford, so we're going to go to our next page. And we're going to select Ford. All right, so if we had a code, I'm going to just put a code in here uh, for a misfire. We're going to go to a PO300. Again, use your arrow keys. All right, and we're going to go over here. We're going to go to just a random misfire code. And I'm sorry, moving the camera so much. And it tells us it's random misfire, which I already knew that. Uh, but if you got a code that came up as a generic code or a factory code, you could go here and look it up. And then we're going to exit this. All right, and then our menu also for the tool library gives us a few other options here. We're back to main menu. We have one more option. That is tool settings. In the tool settings, you can set your tool up for the brightness of the screen. You can turn the uh, tone off and on 
uh, live data descriptions. You can change the language of it or the measurements of it. All right, that's pretty much your uh, functions of this tool. I do appreciate your time today. Thank you very much.